All right, y'all, keeps from Black Quarterback Series. A little bit of a different video. Uh, obviously, I can't, like, uh, I was having trouble recording today. So, I just kind of want to do a podcast format. So, uh, this is Black Quarterback Daily or Black Quarterback Weekly. Uh, I haven't done one of these videos in I don't know how long. So, let's get into it. So, uh, we're just going to talk about some topics that I had to talk about this week. No extremely huge news this week. Um, but it's some topics that I want to talk about. So first off, let's talk about the USFL. So I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't been watching the USFL. Um, kind of been doing some other things and moving some other things around. Um, but I did get a chance to watch J. Mark Smith play, uh, this weekend. He didn't play. He played okay. He played okay. You know, he didn't play the best. It was a defensive battle for the most, most part. And it was one on the defensive play. So, um, J. Mar squad, Birmingham, uh, Stallions ended up winning 10-9. And so uh, I kind of want to talk about the USFL. So um, I haven't been watching the USL, USFL recently, like I said, because I've just been doing a lot of things. But it looks like it's chugging along. They talk about it on every major major sports show on Fox. Um, and it looks like it's in good hands. It looks like it's in real, real good hands. Uh, we'll definitely have it for the rest of this season. I can't wait till they actually like start traveling next season. That will probably be the next evolution of it. That's probably the next evolution. Uh, can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, and so Jamar was 15 for 29, 183 yards, a touchdown and an interception. Like I said, he didn't he didn't set the world on fire. Uh, and honestly, the game the game should have should not been as close as it was. Uh, the New Orleans team really should have won, but mistakes by, made by Slo- by Slaughter, uh, their quarterback, really was what did them in. It's really what did them in. But overall, it was a good game. If you like defensive matchups, I would definitely recommend checking the highlights. I'll put them at the end of this uh, this video here. Um, so uh, that's it for that. Uh, Colin Murray, like I said this a couple weeks ago, and I'll put the video up top. Kyler Murray was going to be at OTAs, and I never expected him not to show up for voluntary workouts. So he showed up this week for voluntary workouts just like I thought he would. Um, I think he's going to play all season. He'll probably get his contract either towards the end of the season or at the, begin- or the end of next season. Well, not the end of next season, the beginning of the coming up season. Uh, I don't think they're really going to play around with him like that because they're irrelevant without him. Because they're irrelevant without Kyler Murray. Now, say what you want to say uh, about DeAndre being suspended and off of the line is not as great, but their their chances of winning is better with Kyler Murray, obviously. And so, um, Kyler Murray, he's at OTAs, and just like I said, he would be there. Um, he's going to get the deal done. And speaking of somebody getting the deal done, Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Our, our one of our pupils, one of our favorite guys on his channel is Lamar freaking Jackson. So he put up videos. If I can find them, I'll definitely put them right here. Um, he put up videos of him working out just to show people he is working out. He's not just not doing nothing. You know what I mean? Just because he's not an OTA doesn't mean he's not working out. So uh, he's working out. He's getting he's getting in shape, getting ready for the season. And I expect Lamar to sign his same it's, I expect Lamar to sign his contract at the same time that Kyler Murray signs it. They're probably just waiting on each other, to be honest with you. I'm saying I think Lamar should take a slight pay cut so he can get some, get a receiver or get some receivers in there, uh, boost that off of the line. Uh, so, yeah, all the news about why Lamar is not doing this, why Lamar is not doing this. Lamar is working. He might not be at the Ravens facility, but he's definitely working. And so, so we're coming out to our last two topics of the day. Um, Deshaun Watson has two more still two more women have filed cases on Deshaun um after him beating the first twenty four or the first twenty three actually. Um one of the ladies said that they saw the HBO special and felt compelled to come out and tell their quote unquote story. Now I'm not gonna get into the specifics of that or what I believe about it, but um I'm just talking about the football aspect. And I think the football aspect of this whole thing is that Lamar, not Lamar, Deshaun will play this season. Unless they, like, legit convict him. Unless they legit convict Deshaun, he's going to play this year. Now, he might not play the first month and a half, but Deshaun is definitely going to play this year. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless he, like, goes to jail. I don't don't see the NFL, 
like doing what baseball did, suspending the guy off just what they think happened, you know, especially with the whole Amber Heard thing that just that just came through this week. I don't I just don't think the NFL is going to do that. So uh, it's looking good, not looking good for Deshaun, but it's looking like he's not going to be he's going to be suspended probably probably a month and a half. Like I've been saying, like I did in uh, the review. So. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think Deshaun will play this year and have no ifs, ands, of if ands, buts about it at all whatsoever. And so our last topic is kind of a gossipy topic, but it's black quarterback series news, so I feel compelled to talk about it. Congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry, got to drop my pen. Congratulations to our guy, Patrick Mahomes, for having another child. So he's on child number two. Um, he's on child number two. And, you know, with all that money he's making, that child would never want for anything, you know. So, shout out to Patrick Mahomes on child number two. And so, I posted this on my Instagram. I posted this on my Instagram last night or a couple of days ago now as I'm recording this. So, I posted this. Posted this. It's Russell Wilson doing promos. Russell Wilson doing promos for the the Browns, right? And it's about the most cringeworthy thing ever. So I'm gonna let you guys see it, and then I'll, and I'm gonna let you guys see it at the end. So that's that's all I got for you for Black Quarterback Series. I'll talk to you guys later on in the week when something pops. Enjoy this cringe by our cringiest guy that we cover, Russell Wilson. Y'all be easy on it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Let's ride. Fine. Let's ride. Let's ride. Broncos let's country. ride. Perfect. Okay. One more time. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride.